Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Richie Plunger from the Puppetum Geek, and today, guys, I got you the review of the Interlock. Now, I actually backed this on Kickstarter a while ago, and um, you know, only got around actually doing the review recently. And you know, because I backed this, because if you don't know already, if you follow me on Instagram, you know, I love bicycles. I ride them. I make them. You know, I just love messing around with them. And one thing I loved about the Interlock was it's designed to actually have a lock actually you know combined with the seat post itself so really it got rid of actually carrying around a lock and i hated that you know um so carrying around a d lock is okay but at the same time it's a hassle just to carry around a lock all the time and to have it you know somehow on my bag carrying it it's just heavy the one thing i loved about you know with my bicycle is you know i can lock it up at work so really those times where i do lock it up outside is when i quickly have to dash to the shops or quickly just lock it up you know i'm at a bar cafe just so i can keep an eye on it but at the same time peace of mind that's locked away and that you know someone's not going to just roll around with it now the interlock you know i saw it on kickstarter as i mentioned and it has a really great design. Its design is real, like, you know, it has its cable built into the seat post. And what's really good about that is, you know, once it's locked up, you can't even take it out. You know, even if you unscrew it, it actually has a bolt on the inside, which actually prevents the actual cable from going outside the actual seat post, which is, again, really good design. Uh, one thing that, however, which is a flaw in the design, which a lot of people pointed out, is the cable. Now, the cable isn't the thickest cable ever and probably can get, you know, cut with, you know, a decent pair of cable cutters. Now, that doesn't go the same to say to any other lock. You know, a lot of people, as you can see, have cables for their locks, chains, really cheap, you know, chains for their bike. And, you know, sometimes it may get stolen, sometimes it doesn't. But one thing, however, is, is to prevent the person from actually, you know, slowly stopping them, um, you know, so you can actually come back to your bicycle, catch them, or, you know, just to slow the process down, which, which is why you have a bike lock. Now, one thing about having a bike lock is they recommend actually having two different bike locks. So let's just say, for instance, you have the interlock. You also want to maybe combine that with another cable lock to tie your front tire because it can easily be able to actually loosen these bolts here and then go away at the tire because the tire is worth, you know, um, one two hundred dollars so it's all about slowing the process down as well it's not all about just to sort of you know prevent someone from stealing your bike lock now d locks are obviously one of the best locks that you can buy for your bicycle but also is one of the heaviest locks that you can get now one thing like i said before i don't i have a d lock but i don't carry around with me all the time now if i do go somewhere where i actually need to lock my bike for a long period of time i'll carry my d lock i got the interlock and they have also a cable lock as well where i combine it all together so it will slow the process down at the same time making it really a pain for you know the person stealing it to actually cut through it now i really love the interlock and i love the design hopefully i can't wait to see the interlock 2.0 hopefully and see what um, they come up with because I really think it's a great design and it's something which is you know part of your bike now Which is really good. It comes in three different colors. Um, you got your aluminium Which then you can paint to any color you want white black um, And I think that's it so far and I think they actually made it into a Kickstarter green as well Which wasn't you know to my liking, but I love the aluminium look uh, it does it is slightly thicker around the top So you may want to you know consider that into the design of your bike as well um, just, just because of, you know, depending on your size and thickness of your seat post as well. There's a couple other ways you can actually lock up your bike as well. Um, is, you know, get your lock tied around your rear tire, tied around the frame when you're tying it around um, a piece of post or anything like that. Because again, you want to make it more secure and hard to get for the person. Now, if you actually take out the bolt, as you can see here, um, it actually comes out. But then, you know, if you are locked to a certain object or you know a post you can see it's all going to be still attached so you're not going to have your seat post stolen as well but at the same time if you do pull out the um the cord or the wire you can see it does have a big bolt at the bottom of it which prevents it from actually coming out of the seat post because it would be pretty unpractical if you could actually just pull out um the wire and just have that just freestanding just there anyway guys this has been a quick review of the interlock i really love this product i can't wait for the next one and i highly recommend checking it out if you are a bike 
um, or cyclists, um, enthusiasts and love, you know, or you love your bike and you want to keep it safe, check out the interlock because it means you can ride away and still have a lock, you know, with you anytime, anywhere um, without having to carry around D-locks or, you know, any other wires or anything like that because, you know, when you stop at a cafe or a bar, you just want to lock up your bike, place it in the corner and just have the peace of mind that it's locked and safe rather than worrying that, oh my God, I'm keeping one eye on the bike and one eye on the person who you were with. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.